Welcome to a special edition of the Lost Official Podcast. The following is a sound tour of the scoring stage with composer Michael Giacchino as he introduces us to the musicians and their instruments that make up the sound of Lost. Remember, you can find Lost on ABC on Wednesdays from 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock. We're on. All right, here we are. We're inside the recording uh, studio here at O. Henry Studios in Burbank. And I'm going to take you into the... uh into the main recording room here, and we're going to talk to this gentleman over here. I'm going to steal this guy. This is Jim Sitterly, and he is one of our violinists. You can say hello. Hi. This is going to be uh, broadcast to the universe for the ages, you know. The, the, for y- hundreds of years from now, Martians will be listening. What kind of cool tape recorder is that? <laughs> it's a DAT player. Oh, it's a DAT player. Yeah. Does, what, what does DAT do? <laughs> <laughs> they want to talk about uh, some of the sounds. I want to make some of the strange sounds that we make week to week. Well, you know? Michael's famous for the old. <laughs> and he also does a, quite a bit of. And then there's also the. There's lots of these, without the mute. There's lots of those. It's funny, when you hear it like this with just one violinist, it sounds like some guy's in the barn playing something, you know, before the hoedown. (laughs) There's none of this. Whoops, I'm only tuned. There's none of that. Yes. Uh, what about the behind the bridge? Can you give oh, me yeah, some? We do a lot of these. <laughs> these are very important. Uh, and what are you doing there? Uh, well, this is the old behind the bridge special effect for frightening scenes. <laughs> and there's never anything like this. There's nothing like that. You know what I mean? There's nothing ever melodic. It's crazy, isn't it? So that's a, vi- that's a, that's a violin. Well, you, could, could, you, you, you wouldn't even remember any of the themes from the show, do you? Um, sure. Do you he goes, yeah, let me look one up. <laughs> oh, here's one. This is a very famous Michael theme. No, no, Great. This is, this is the theme. There's always the... Let's see. What is the one that is... That one? There's always that. <laughs> see, he doesn't remember. They, they come in here, they sit down, and then the moment they're out, they're gone. They don't even know how it's going. <laughs> oh, this? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> this is worth more than my house. I don't want to hold this thing. Well, I was pretty much right. You were right. It's it's not in there this week. Oh, it isn't. No. Well, how is it? How is Actually, it? Actually, it's one in one one little bit, but it's kind of a variation of it. Can I say what's really amazing about this show, the music? Um, Michael has uh, recurring themes, and he play and he writes the the music. All the music in every episode is related. You, if in other words, there's never a cue that we play that doesn't seem to be reminiscent or reflective of another cue. And that's, that, that to me makes the difference between an okay composer and a great composer. And how long have you been working with him? Oh, about a two, two, three days. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, I was, I was on the, I was on the first here. one, yeah. The session here in L.A., which was, uh, was about 97, I think, yeah. or it's 98, maybe. Oh, way back, yeah. and it, you way know what? He was he was a he was a everybody knew that he was a major talent, right? The, for the first minute he, we played his music. Was that I mean, thirty was, was that the thirty dollar comment or yeah, the forty dollar? That was the forty. And this is, <laughs> you can't really play, write this unless you're a genius. <laughs> you know, you got to be a real genius. And or you just have to kind of find a violin and pick it up. Yeah, and, you got, and this takes real courage. That that is that's courage. There's never anything like. When I'm in the room, they call it courage. When I'm in the booth over there and I can't hear them, they call it stupidity. <laughs> it's 
So it's really, it depends on where you're standing at the time, Excellent. right? Well, thank you for uh, showing us your stands. And you know what's amazing? <laughs> Speaking of which, you know what's really amazing? Seriously. I don't know. If this is the truth. This is the truth. Michael makes everybody feel like we're responsible for our part and, and the whole show. When they screw up, they're responsible. Yeah. No, but but we what we there's a there's a sense of pride in in this in this team. So when we when we won the the Emmy, we won the Emmy, and he made he made us feel like we made the. And I'm sure that now that we got the Golden Globe, that when when we get the Golden Globe, we will get the Golden Globe, not just him, not just the actors, not just the producers. It's it's really this is. This is, this is really nirvana in the music business, and he's responsible for it. And just one more time, because I, I, I missed it, but what's your name? Oh, uh, well, should I tell him? You I, can tell him. You can Jim, sit The government won't hear this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm new here. It's for our, it's for our podcast. Oh, uh, and so, you know, what's that? It's, uh, it's, an audio, it's an audio thing that can be downloaded so fans can uh, learn more about you guys and deepen oh. their experience and connection to the show. Oh, Jim's well, welcome to the show. <laughs> this is it's a it's great. People love this show. Wanna go check out a couple other instruments? Yeah, walk us around. All right, Thanks let's go say I'm sorry we're hot in the show. That's <laughs> all right, man. Well, you know. You, you are the show. <laughs> Bases. So we're gonna get some strange sounds. Well, it's easy to get strange sounds out of this one because it just comes natural to him. Uh, he's much more of a legit player, so uh, he has to work at it more. You want to just take the mic? Oh yeah, sure. So let's let's let. I want to. Re- uh, we're doing a podcast that's going to be sent out to everybody, and we're just kind of. Just getting different sounds and different stuff. Do you want to uh, introduce yourself and, and talk about what you do? Uh, Dave Stone, bass here. I'm playing old Italian bass, about 200 years old, and uh, just freelance around the uh, the uh, L.A. area and doing different things. Right now I'm in the midst of a little bit of a cold, so I hope I don't get yeah. anybody out of it. So stay away from the uh, speakers, everyone. But anyway, doing pretty good and uh, happy to be here. This is great. So well, let's. what are some of the sounds I make you play uh, every week? Behind the bridge thing. What does that sound like on the, on here? Hey, Michael, for the we non-musically that. inclined, could you tell us what the bridge is? The bridge. The bridge. Well, in any string instrument, you have a a, a section where all the strings are supported, kind of in the middle, lower middle, and uh, when you play normal music. You, you play on the top end go. of the <laughs> instrument. When you play lost music, you will play on the back end, the part that you're not supposed to play. Or we might do the ponticello down here for... <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Oh, um, yeah, I'm, my name is Carl Vincent. I'm merely an intrepid pugilist out to please the constabulary. And uh, it's great to be here with Michael, and he does have us play a lot of very interesting things. It's always a challenge, and we never know what to expect. <laughs> <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> All right, so, uh, oh, of course, Norman's out. All right, this is... we. we we're doing a uh, podcast for the show. They're going to kind of broadcast a little thing for the fans, and they're doing a behind-the-scenes of the music. So, and this is the trombone section. So I was wondering if I could get you, if we could get you to do the, 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 the out-to commercial uh, for us real quick. You know, that thing. Uh, well, let's just pick, you know, just go four, pick four dissonant notes, everyone uh, a half-step off in a higher range. Yeah. Yeah. And then, it, okay. yes. So, you, you all right, one, two, three. There we go. Must be 
Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's a commercial. <laughs> Thank you. There it is. <laughs> now to the bounty commercials. Thank you. Oh, here's some fun stuff over here. How you doing? Hi, how you doing? Uh, all right, here. Now this, now you're going to have to hold this. All right. recognize any of these uh, any of these sounds you can hold this down here and this is the man actually right here Emil Richards here. how you doing hold these these are his Emil's doing all the percussion for us here and he all those weird sounds that you hear that I make him play he plays them and he plays them amazingly you want to give us an example of what I make you do on this to hear this sound. And this, this is an old orchestral secret sound that, that you hear in scores. I don't even know if we should say how it's done. What do you think? Yeah, it's, it's a super ball. Oh, there he goes. He blew it. It's a super ball. You drag a super ball across a gong, you know, and that's what you I get. the reason I had this hole put well, in so you could do this for, for, for the Boeing, so we can... the movies you, 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 Amos worked on so many movies what are some of the, the your biggies uh, Dr. Shifago all right that was that was last year right <laughs> no a long time ago <laughs> um, s let me see we just did some work on King Kong yeah and uh, we also worked on uh, oh gosh all the Star Trek movies oh, there and you go. lethal weapon movies you pretty much recorded everything Right. I've done 1,850 you you movies. The, oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus. I don't know if we can probably take out the Jesus, but <laughs> there you go. All right, so now here's another sound that you probably are, you'll, you'll recognize. That's something that we use quite often. And what instrument is that? It's called an onklong, and but it's a metallic onklong. Most onklongs are made of wood. Bamboo. This was one that was built in the 30s, was it? Yeah, in the Actually, 1902. No, there. 1902. And this is a, a very unique sound that uh, I discovered. He dragged in on The Incredibles, and I fell in love with it from then. So. And then there's this, this thing. The guts of the piano. The guts of a piano. And I noticed we got some glisses this time. <laughs> I think I'm going to get a guitar pick out. It'll work much better with a guitar pick. Drums. Is this one of your percussion guys you were telling us about? Yes. So everything in here. So we got, you know, everything we need to make enough noise to, to make you scared. You know. Again, we didn't, we're not using metal this time, but I brought this you again. Know, we might. This How is the, you know what this is, all the... I also have a cymbal tree. Oh, really? With all these cymbals, and when you hit it with a triangle, it goes. That's, that'd be fun. In Bring case it. we need it sometime. Bring it. I will next time. Thank you, sir. This is the. Uh, in this room, we have the harp. The harp is over here. It's a very important instrument in Lost. Uh, except, you know, normally you would play a harp very nicely and gracefully, but uh, this is Lost, so we we don't do that. We play it like this. You want to hold this down here? So that's a sound that's a really important sound in Lost, and it's used uh, quite often in the show, and it's just one of those sounds of the show, you know? You always try to come up with some things that you know. The, the goal for me was to, when I was a kid, I used to watch TV in the other room, and I could listen to my parents television and 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 i could uh, before i was going to sleep i heard the tv on in their room and i could uh i would try and guess what they were watching by the music on it so i've always tried to kind of set some sort of specific sound for a show so you know maybe some kid will do the same thing you can you know something that you could I walk by the 
the television room and go, oh, my God, they're watching, you know, The Rockford Files or they're watching whatever, MASH. What are some big shows or films that were influencing you, like, you know, when you were... In television? Uh, in television, it was Johnny Quest. It was Mission Impossible. It was MASH. It was The Rockford Files. Uh, it was Emergency. It was Adam 12, One Adam 12. It was, uh, you know, The Muppet Show was huge for me. I mean, huge. Uh, Buck Rogers, the A-Team. I don't know, all of those things. But uh, they all had their own cool sound to them, you know. And I used to love listening. And back then, everything was recorded like we're doing today, with live musicians, you know, a live orchestra. Uh, so really, a lot of musical training came out of my just watching too much TV, you know, and just listening to everything. And, and same with films. Uh, so it's, you know, we're, I'm just trying to hopefully carry on that tradition of just doing live music for, for TV. It's a really fun thing to be able to every week come in here with these guys, and you'll see, they're amazing. They don't rehearse. They just look at it for the first time when they sit down, and they play it. They're, what they're going to play today, they have never seen before. So, and that happens on a daily basis for them. And they're just amazing. Their, their, their talent is pretty staggering. You'll, you know, it's fun to watch. Excellent. So I think we're that about wraps up our Yeah, tour. okay. Great. Excellent. Hear it done for real. You want to hear it done for real? Come on. Yes, this is. Which camera do you have? Michael. <laughs> this is Gail. Hi guys. This is Gail, and Gail is has a huge role on Lost because what she plays, the sound she makes, is an integral uh, part of the of the sound of the show. As you can put your mic down here. So we do. I have to play with my nails. Right? which is not an easy feat to do, especially since they're not long. And I'm sucking as low as I can. As low as I can. And it's painful. And I break my nails every week. And I ask her to do it like 30 times in one cue. Yeah. And, and I had somebody actually say to me recently, oh, you play on Lost. What are you doing? What, what's your... And I said, well, it's a very... Th and I told him about these low sounds, and he said, oh, my God, I thought that was a synthesizer. <laughs> so there you go. Yes. We did it. I finally got to be like a synthesizer. <laughs> Come here, you. <laughs> I love this man. Ah, <laughs> she's the best. You'll have fun watching this. Yeah, we have a lot of she's fun. She's so good. And sometimes what I have to do, because I'm down there and my arms don't reach, I have to get down really low on my chair... I back up a little bit, get this out of the way, and I'm, I'm stretching down here as far as I can. I'm sitting, if any professional harpist saw me, they'd say, oh, my God, oh, my God. Anyway, I know Michael has to get started, and sometimes we're playing the two together, you know. You're not supposed to know. <laughs> so there. Excellent. Thank you.